Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now, first disclaimer, this is not a live commentary, it's a post commentary. You're gonna notice that in a few seconds. But secondly, I wanted to bring, to bring you this gameplay. It's a game from my last weekend league in which I finished with seven, 16 wins. It's pretty disappointing because I was on, was on a hot streak. I was like 10 and 3 at one point, which is pretty decent for me. It's not like insanely good, but it's alright. But then I only got to 16 wins, so a bit frustrating, but this game still is one that I want to bring you guys. Now before I'm going to get uh, deeper into the game as pause, first off. <coughs> and secondly, just go to touch on there. So that's pretty bad. But before I get into the game uh, in a bit more detailed fashion, please hit the li uh, like and subscribe button. It helps out me a ton. I've gotten some great support on my last videos, especially the one with the pro scheme, where I showed the... Uh, deep corner play out of the bunch, uh, gun bunch formation. That one especially got a lot of views, but still only only 70% of the uh, watch time comes actually from viewers that are subscribed to my channel. So if you don't mind, it will help me out a ton and I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, as you can see, um, he's up 7-0 to zero and he already got a stop. So that's not something that I want. Also, he's running the ball. So I'm a bit worried right off the bat because my run defense is pretty sus, to be honest. I haven't had m uh, much success stopping the runners. There he breaks another big one <coughs> with Devin Hester, which also is really glitch glitchy. I mean, I don't mind because it's smart and I'm not one of those team style players, as you probably know. But still, I don't like that. Here we get the pick with uh, Kevin Johnson, the spy. That's some great run defense, in my opinion. Put your free safety out of 3 4 out in the spy, and he plays the run incredibly well. And also, if they decide to do a play action pass or something. You'll ha you have a spy on the field which with a lot of speed, so all of those Mike Vicks and Lamar Jacksons that are generally used in the run game, they will have a tough time to, uh, to you know move the ball. Now here, fourth and one, just gonna take my flat, and that's a really important play in my opinion. I'm on the 50-yard line. If I get stopped, he's in a great position to just to, to just go up two possessions. So that conversion was really crucial. Now here, I'm going to take my drag to Evan Engram, and that's a good play that I'm going to go into in a future video now here on third and two I get the first down easily with the wheel out of the backfield right here kind of like get stuck thankfully I can still playmaker him and hit Tori Holt on the small playmaker now I'm just gonna hit, hit my flat there you go I'm still making some uh, good reads in my opinion I mean it's not like I haven't I've been in any close read there get the nice slant open there I kind of like stumble a bit and you lose the yard which is not what I want to happen I thought he wasn't going to match on the post, but he did. I thought I could hit the post versus the cover two. I was not able to, obviously. So there, he gets the pick, and now he's once again in the driver's seat. He I'm shutting down around pretty well. I get the ball back. First and ten, I tried to run a little half-pick sweep. Don't get anywhere. Right here, a bit of understanding running, which I don't do a lot of. And here, my guy gets bumped, so... He takes a longer time to get down the field for the cover three beaters, so yeah, that's incomplete. Nice. So fourth and twelve, I still have to punt the ball to him because he hasn't been able to move the ball consistently on me. I feel like I've shot down his run pretty well so far. So yeah, I feel like I, I could have, I should have punted the ball there, and I did. Now second and twenty-one, he gets nowhere. Third and nineteen, and here's something really glitchy. Whoop! So you see how Pat Tillman was in position to make the play, but he didn't. I'm gonna show that to you in replay. See, instead of tackling the guy, he gets morphed to the block, to 35, that's Christian Okoye. And he's just gone. Like, that's frustrating because I th thought he was in, in a good position. And then, of course, after your opponent gets a lucky play, they score a touchdown. Now, you can see, two minutes left in the third quarter, so I, it's kind of late in the game for me to not have scored any points yet. And also for him to have gotten pretty lucky. So I'm pretty frustrated at this, at this point. But, you know, that's the good thing about having a passing offense. You can pretty much move the ball. Once you figure out how to attack your opponent's defense, you can move the ball pretty consistently. Now here I get forced to throw the ball away, which is smart, you know. I felt like I had something open, but I wasn't willing to uh, throw a pick there. So just take my first down on the nice little uh, corner. Here I'm kind of like forcing it into coverage. I'm not hap happy with myself on that read. But here we go. That's a really good read. And he gets popped by number 42. I think that's... Um, run a lot so definitely got lucky there to not thumb the ball once again i think that's number 33 jamal adams if he's 33 that's a good hit stick so still got like 
twice in a row, have not fumbled. Of course, third time is a charm. And I'll get the touchdown. Now we're in the third quarter. We're knocking on the fourth quarter stores, door, so it's really important for me to get that touchdown before the fourth quarter. So I still have one more stop. Here pitches the ball. And he doesn't go over. 22 yard line. And I feel like I've been stopping his run pretty consistently. There he kind of like outruns all of my guys because 99 speed. Devin Hester here gets the first down, which I th thought was kind of like unfortunate because I felt like I was in a position, position to stop it. There we go. Nice run defense once again, getting him in the, ba in the, him in the backfield. And here, third and 10, he doesn't go nowhere. He's going to out me the ball, which I think is the right uh, play. He's a run, he's a runner, so he can't pretty much he pretty much can't pass the ball. Well, he hasn't shown it to me at least. There, he's a nice slant route. There we go with the corner route against a Sasquatch, so that's pretty glitchy in my opinion, which, because they're supposed to stop that. Here we go with the deep corner route, and it's wide open. I mean, like I have been making some crispy reads uh, in the second half. Here, whoop! J j j just, just a little small, a little swerve, or whatever. Here I get forced out of the pocket, and I think that's really lucky because if he if he sticks sticks to number twelve, Brandon Cooks, that's pretty much a guaranteed pick. So we just kind of like made it back to the slant. I read that. Fortunately, got the ball in behind his Ray Lewis, and here I'm just hoping that we don't get a touchdown. That was a really lucky uh, animation because that's an animation that falls for for like 10 extra yards. So to have someone there to stop that animation was really crucial. Now here I think he got bailed a little bit or I guess I clicked on nicely. And I get the ball back. He punts it to me inbounds which I hoped to have gotten more from this return but I didn't. Which still is fine. I mean, I've been I've been moving the ball efficiently in the last few drives, and that's important. Just get that first play out of the way, get a good first positive play, and then the rest of the drive is pretty much going to get easier. Still, no fumble. I like that. My players are fighting. They're not they're, they're not getting tossed around. They're chilling. They're holding onto the ball, which is what we need. They're <laughs> kind of like an iffy pass. And here you can see that this is this is a cheat. I mean, he's wide open. If might have been a little bit too late, but still, I feel like that should have been caught. Now I'm going to show you the whole sequence of me calling the play because I, I knew it was open and I knew it was going to go back to a similar coverage because that's just kind of like what stubborn Madden players do in these streets. Again, 14 14, 22 seconds left. I still feel comfortable, even if I don't get it. I feel like I'm in a good position. He has he's running the ball, and I think I can use all of his routes. So he's not going to get into field goal range, but that's not a topic for that's a topic for another time. He has scrambled out, and there I got him. I mean, I forced his user to, to come down and respect the run because he could have gotten it. And here's a the first down, and here's a very important tip: spike the ball to take away seconds from the clock. That enables me to uh, kick the field goal with time winding down. Now we'll see what happens. I'm iced, of course. To make it a bit more it's interesting, but I have focus kickers, so there shouldn't be really anything going on or anything going wrong during this kick. I don't get it perfectly, which made me kind of like sweat for a little second. But I still got it, you know, that's a 14, uh, point, 14 point comeback, there you go. 14, being on 14 points, 2 uh, minutes before the end of the third quarter. I'm really happy with my performance. Now, thank you very much if you stuck until this part of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. It wasn't that long of a video. And you still got a full gameplay. So I feel like it was worth the time. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. A like would be greatly appreciated. And yeah. Very thankful. Uh, some gameplays coming in the future. Make sure to check them out. Peace out.